What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We're back with another video. This is the Boxing Clinic. You dig? We're going to kick kick it off in this afternoon with some boxing. And Terrence Crawford took a Q&A uh, yesterday on Twitter. Go to his Twitter page. Uh, it's a couple threads. Um, one that said, I got time today. That's a thread. And it's another one on there. Um, that, that, man. This dude might be the real fucking deal. He must know something that we don't know. Let me start off that way. About potentially fighting Keith Thurman and Earl Spence. And he took shots at Danny Garcia, Earl Spence. And I'm going to get into that as well. Um, he must know that Bob Arum has promised him fights. Or he must be leaving Bob Arum. So they, uh, Bob Arum has talked about making him a Spence. Because Constantine Pumov and Ocampo is going to fight for Spence. number uh, The mandatory dispense. So eventually Bob Arum got to work with Spence regardless. Because <laughs> his fighter is going to be the mandatory for Spence Bell. And then Pullman is high in WBC, can be the mandatory for Keith Thurman. So, eventually, him and Al Hammond going to have to start working together. They made a pact at the Al Hammond beat him at the lawsuit that they will work together. So, hopefully, it happens. But, you know, people thought the Cold War was over a couple years ago. It wasn't. So, I don't know, man. You know, Terrence Crawford, it sounds good, don't it? It really do sound good when he's talking. And I'm starting to believe because he keeps saying and, and, and hitting that shit that he ain't got to say um, that it's going to happen. You know, I'm starting to believe he really think it's going to happen. Um, he go. He also says that he's the number one pound for pound fighter. He's filling Andre Ward's shoes and, and Floyd Mayweather's shoes now that they're retired. He's going to be submitted as the pound for pound fighter. No questions asked. He said he's going to dominate and clean out the 147 pound division. That's what he says in the Q&A. Um, you want to talk about uh, what he said about Earl Spence? He, he said that Kell Brook was damaged goods. And if uh, Earl Spence fight the way he fight versus Kell Brook, um, Keith Thurman going to beat him. You know, that's what he said. Um, plain and simple. That's exactly what he said in two different threads. Um, he said Kell Brook is damaged, was damaged goods. Um, and he want to talk about picking some, picking out somebody's resume and shit, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was actually it was the toughest opponent. It was Gamble, who was a short guy. And if Gamboa gave him problems, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I understand he had a different level in his career now. You know, that was a, you know, different type of fight. And he goes on. One guy said, you know, you small, you know. I, I didn't really see the threat, but I guess some guy said, you go on and fought all smaller guys. He said, look at my back box right. I fought plenty of bigger guys. I'm like, where? <laughs> right? Like, who? <laughs> because you outweigh your opponents by, like, 10 pounds every fight. If, that, if, if not more, he comes in about 155, 140. I'm 156, so um, that was my whole my whole hypothesis on him moving up. Is how he's gonna deal with the punching power and the strength of guys that's equally bigger than him, or big or bigger than him, a lot bigger than him. And um, you know, he was asked about Keith Thurman. He said you can't fight whoever you want to fight when you want to fight. It's a business, so you understand. So he got to wait his turn for Keith Thurman. And um, you know, one guy uh, said, "Why don't you fight a?" Uh, you know, Spencer or Danny Garcia. He said Danny Garcia don't have a belt. Then he critiques Danny Garcia's resume. Um, said if I fought all those old guys past their prime like he did, I'd be under, uh, I'd have the names on my resume as well. But he uh, he did take note that Danny Garcia does have better names on his resume. I believe he did point at that. And um, he said, but they was all old past prime, and Khan can't take him on the chin. At the end of the day, I would love to see Terrence Crawford fight Khan. At a uh, welterweight, you know, one, you know, Mary Khan come back because Frank Warren say, um, the Billy Joe Sonner and Khan fight, you know, it ain't gonna happen. So good. So I would love to see Khan and Crawford fight once, you know, both of them guys get their feet wet at 147 again, and Khan and, Con and Crawford. So, um, you know, he took shots at Danny Garcia, you know, but but T say wasn't old, you know, T say was a machine. Um, you know, he did be the older Mayor Alan Morales, but Eric Morales had just you know, went to war with Marcus Madonna, and most people thought he beat Madonna. You know, he beat Kendall Hart, you know, when nobody really knew who he was. You know, I believe he beat Nate Campbell, you know. I mean, what else you want? He cleaned the division out. He, he won the belts. <laughs> you know, people want people want to ask, the, you know. I, I mean, I don't understand how Terrence Crawford can shoot Danny Garcia's bid at 149 before his because his bid was, was, was lackluster. Let's just keep it 100. You know, only guy he beat was Victor Postal. And I understand Danny Gar Garcia paid Victor Postal step aside money. I do understand that, but you know, Postal, you know, he about, he might get dealt with his next fight. Postal, Postal wasn't shit to me, man. He beat Matisse, Matisse's past his prime. Um, you know, Derry John wasn't shit. Henry Lundy wasn't shit. Um, Hank 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 Lundy, whatever his name is, he wasn't shit. Uh, Delorme wasn't shit. Um, 
Julius Hidango turned out to be not be shit, even though he tried to uh, rationalize him and say he was unified. I mean, I mean, people kill me because you got a belt don't make you shit though, man. Honestly, there's so many belts going around, and you know, he didn't be anybody to know. When you be Ricky Burns for your belt, do that solidify you? Everybody didn't Ricky Bank, Ricky Burns like a runner. Everybody didn't had a, everybody didn't had a hit on a runner. You gonna be Ricky Burns? You ain't shit. So they just Ricky Burns just promoted right to get a belt. You know what I'm saying? So you, I mean. At the end of the day, man, you know, he, he said, you know, people saying I ain't fought nobody. He tried to shot, take a shot at Terrence Crawford, but Terrence Crawford, Kell Brook is, is it damaged goods or not. You know, Kell Brook wasn't damaged goods, man. I don't care what nobody said. He was on fire in the beginning of that fight for the most part. He saw that he still had it. He just couldn't fight at that high pace that Earl Spence, you know, set for him. That's all. That's what killed Kell Brook the pace. He got tired. And Terrence Crawford wanted to poke holes at Earl Spence. That, that shit just funny to me, dog. And you ain't really ain't beat nobody. Getting bored the best one in your victory on your fucking resume. And he's so uh adamant about him being the number one uh you know, fighter in, in the world. To me it's vacant, you know. He I mean, I'll I take another over him because he had a better resume. When we go one forty seven, he's gonna have his chance, you know. He really is gonna have his chance to be the best welterweight. And now he the way he's talking, he can't he can't re he can't walk back on the plank and walk back on the ship, man. He got to fight these guys. He said he don't want to fight Danny Garcia because he don't have a belt. It was another guy, he said, uh, Sean Porter. He said he don't want to fight Sean Porter because he don't have a belt. So he want to be in the belt business. And we already know that Bob Aram said he fighting Jeff Horn. He going to be the mandatory. He going to have a belt. And then we going to see where his career takes off from there. Now, if he gets the belt and they come to a contract resolution with, with Jesse Vargas in top rank, he fight Jesse Vargas next, then we know what's about to happen. They not trying to make that fucking fight with Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. But he did say Earl Spence is coming soon. So it's really nowhere for him to go. That's how I'm really I'm really looking at the situation. I mean, Constantine Puma is about to be Earl Spence's mandatory. Um Jesse Vargas ain't I mean, he's in him him and Top Rank is in contract dispute. So now I'm out of leave with Golden Boy. They want to work with Golden Boy. He ain't ready. I mean, he ain't ready. I mean, he don't really have nowhere to go once he get that belt, but fight mandatories. And we know Top Rank will pull that bullshit and have him just fight man and lower level guys. And, and and he must demand to fight um, Errol Spence. But I will say he didn't have about 10 fights with that top rank contract. So he must have read up with him at some point. Or his contract must be coming to an end. And maybe he might be a promotional free agent. But top, but top rank don't let you just walk away like that, you know. So um, so I don't know which way he's. I mean, I don't know. He knows something that we don't know. You know, obviously, if he's feeling, if he's really walking out there like on the plank like that, saying that he's going to fight these guys, he says Errol Spence coming soon. Once he get the belt, Earl Spence say, you know, we shoot, I'll shoot you that, you can shoot that fade. And I'd love to see that fight. I don't know. I mean, after Earl Spence fight Keith Thurman, I'd love to see Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford. You know, of course he wants Keith Thurman because everybody know Keith Thurman been dropped and stopped in the pros. He's been stopped in the amateurs. And people think it's sweet with Keith Thurman. He know he's going to move and box around. He ain't going to be aggressive. He ain't going to get full leverage on his power. Uh, but the fight that I want to see personally after, I mean, I want to see Terrence and Earl Spence. You know, that's what I want to see. I want to see Earl and Keith Thurman first, but that's really the marquee fight that I want to see. It's going to be a good fight. And we see how Terrence, uh, Terrence do versus Jeff Horn. If he's able to stop Jeff Horn, I think that might sway my opinion a little bit closer to him and Earl Spence being more closer to a 50-50 fight. I think he beats Keith Thurman, though. But it is what it is. We're going to.